The theme of my speech is agriculture in Quebec and Canada common ground and differences. The Quebec agricultural vision is in conflict with the Canadian one. The bottom line is that for Quebec's farmers, being in Canada has more disadvantages than advantages. Whereas the issues of food sovereignty, supply management, and farm transfer to the new generations are clearly priorities in Quebec, they don't have the same importance in the rest of Canada. In terms of agriculture, Quebec's future within Canada is not a rosy one. Quebec must go forward with food sovereignty, a concept central to its vision of Quebec's agricultural future. The Quebec nation must have the right to decide alone its own agricultural orientations and the means to achieve it. In light of this, Quebec must play a groundbreaking role and come from tools more adapted to its own reality. I really find it sad that you come to an organization like this that is working together to build an industry that we are struggling with to do a, a job that the primary producers are successful and you then come with your words of tearing everything apart and pitting uh, areas against areas. I, I find it extremely disturbing and upsetting and uh, I, I was not very pleased with your presentation at all. Majority 93, 97, 2000, 2004, 2006, 2008, and if they want one in 2010, we're ready. So it's not ASR, it means certainly something. And uh, those who refuse to recognize the Quebec nation as it is are certainly not Quebecers, but the rest of Canada in, in 1990. The, this is a fact. And instead of fighting each other, what I'm basically saying, we have common things, things in common, of course. We also have things in common with other nations around the world. And the best example of all, certainly the European Union, having sovereign nations working together in a larger political bo uh, body, political and economic body. We want to deal equal to equal, nation to nation. And, and I'm telling you that we'll keep on fighting like that. That doesn't stop us from collaborating on, on different and very concrete issues. But saying there's no difference at all is living in another world. Are, are your views synchronized with the Quebec contingent? I, I, don't, I don't think they are, quite frankly. So I guess I would leave it there and say that maybe I've been mistaken in the last six years, so I think Thank you. Well, I would say that um, I've been meeting with the uh, farmers in Quebec since quite a few years now. and have always been defending the interests of the farmers and the heads of government. That doesn't stop us of sharing things you know, uh, with you. And uh, the day Quebec will be uh, will have its own country. That won't stop us of collaborating on, on very precise and concrete issues. And it's possible to do it with farmers of other nations, like you do with with the farmers of other countries. But, I mean, solidarity has no frontier. No problem with that. No problem at all. But when we're saying that, you don't think farmers in Quebec can share the goals and the, the, what, what we, we were proposing. I'm telling you that election after election, outside Montreal and Quebec, it's almost all black. And, and I'll tell you something, there's more farmers uh, uh, outside my riding than there is. I'm in the downtown Montreal. I mean, the only uh, culture in that area is not legal. So, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but outside Montreal and Quebec, it's almost uh, unanimous support, so I don't think farmers are voting differently than other citizens in those areas. <laughs> so thank you very much, Mr. Dissent, for your presentation. Uh, but the fact is, uh, the European Union is based on sovereign states. 
sovereignty. And uh, they're voluntarily taking decisions based on the fact that they're part of a larger political and economic body. Uh, we're not a sovereign state. Can Quebec agriculture survive without federal support? I mean, we're sending tax uh, and uh, income in Ottawa. That's what, this is our money also. It's not uh, pushing in the trees in Ottawa. Every sensible man knows that. Just ask anyone, they'll tell you what I said. <laughs> ah, they can, they can. So, are you coming back or when? Yeah. Okay, so who's your opponent? I am, pretty much. Oh, gee, good luck. <laughs> Thanks.